quarterfinal action at the Sony Ericsson Open in Miami began with two global stars of the women's game, Maria Sharapova and Lee Na. From the start, Sharapova looked sharp and hungry. She immediately made her presence felt. Well, that's a super start for Sharapova. That seemed to snap Lee into action, though, and tenacious as ever, she got herself right back into it. Yep, finds the line and straight away break back points. In a set full of service breaks, though, it was Sharapova who held first and took what turned out to be a big psychological advantage. The pressure on the Lee serve told again, and Sharapova was again the aggressor to take another break of serve and the set. Yet another love game. Third time in that opening set that Sharapova break to love. The second set turned out to be one-way traffic. Sharapova was serving well and hitting with the sort of biting accuracy which has earned her three Grand Slam titles. Well, it's such a shame to see Lee playing uh, this poorly. When the Russian broke again to go four love up, it seemed a long way back for Lee. Unforced errors began to creep into her game and Sharapova was always poised to take advantage. But beating a player of Lee's stature was never going to be that easy, and Sharapova had to stay sharp to the danger the Chinese posed. Plugging away at the same spot. In the end, though, Sharapova took her place in the last four in emphatic style. That'll go wide. And Sharapova, having lost the last four matches against Lee Na, records her first win over the French Open champion since 2009. Next up was a battle of two former world number ones in Serena Williams and Caroline Wozniacki. Williams is a five-time champion in Miami and she played her part in what turned out to be a high-quality encounter. That is terrific. Wozniacki, though, was up to the challenge, and she managed to eke out a break of serve to lead 2-1 in the first set. Just lifting up off the forehand, and so it is Wozniacki who gets an early break. In front of her boyfriend, golf star Rory McIlroy, Wozniacki kept her grip on the first set. She looked confident and assured from the baseline. She wrapped up the first set with relative ease, and the Miami crowd steeled itself for an upset. And found the first serve that time. The high-quality tennis continued in the second set, with Williams' relentless aggression the perfect counterpoint to Wozniacki's athletic retrieval. Oh! Oh, what a rally! Just as she had done in the first set, the Dane did enough to earn herself a 2-1 lead in the second. No, did nothing with the dry volley. She soon extended that advantage, albeit with the help of a successful challenge on what looked at first like a clean Serena winner. Wozni's going to have a challenge. Uh, oh, well, what a great challenge. What a great challenge. What a crucial moment. Of course, you count Serena Williams out at your peril, and like a wounded animal, she suddenly bit back at Wozniacki at 2-5 down. Wozniacki, though, stayed calm and held firm to wrap up one of the biggest wins of her career. It's the biggest win of the year so far for Caroline Wozniacki.